I've got three elk way across. It's kind of foggy and they're kind of in some thick stuff, so they just moved out of sight. 660 yards. I did not have time to identify if there was any bulls in there, but those are elk for sure. I don't see them anymore, but they kind of dropped off into some timber. It's kind of foggy this morning. It's clearly raining. So it's been making glassing a little bit hard. But there we go. Elk at first light. I don't know if they're going to pop back out into the open to let me take a better look at them. All right, well, I kept working my way along this road and I've been trying to relocate those elk I spotted and I looked about 200 yards above where I last saw those first elk disappear and I spotted more elk. I'm not sure if this is the same herd. I don't know, I feel like it's a different herd of elk, but it looks like it's just four cows, so no bulls. They're all just feeding around in the clear cut. Just enjoying the rain, I'm guessing. All right, well, I got up to this uh, open knob right here. I'm, I'm way up high, and up here, I'm kind of way too high in a way, so I'm with all the fog that's rising, so my vision's been like getting hit with fog off and on, but I glassed across to this clearing, and I spotted three elk. I don't have a feeling there's any bulls in there, but fog is clearing, so I'm gonna put, a, I'm gonna put the phone scope on them while this fog is cleared out.
So last night, when we were at the campfire, I got on Onyx Maps, and I did my best to find some of these areas where it doesn't have as many roads. And so I took the uh, area shape tool on Onyx Maps, and I just basically uh, made a square in those areas where it's a roadless area. These areas aren't all that big just because there's so many roads, but it's a pretty good chunk of uh, just timber that I can uh, go through once and then be done with that in maybe an hour or two hours max. And yesterday I marked four of these uh, timber patches and I'm at my first one. So I'm gonna make a loop down in this first one. If I don't see a legal bowl, then I'm just gonna go back to the truck, drive over to my next spot, do the same thing, uh, make a circle in that area. And once again, if I don't see a bowl there, uh, get back to my rig I drive out to my third spot and do that circle and basically today that's all i'm doing i've got four spots mapped out on onyx maps and so uh, again this is my first one so i'm gonna hike in there just carrying the camera rifle some stuff i need for day hunting and it's like 7 45 right now so it's a little later in the morning but the reason why i timed it like this is because now should be the time where elk if they were feeding in the clear cuts overnight this is about the time when they're starting to make their way from the clear cuts into the timber to bed so i don't know we're just gonna go see how it is can't tell if that's a deer rub or an elk rub, but I think it's an elk rub because there are some pieces about six feet off the ground that have been hit with antlers. So we're going to go ahead and say that that's a bull elk. So we know that there's been a bull in this area at some point in time, probably long gone by now, but that is Good progress I guess now I got to figure out my way uh, navigating through this to get back to the ridge top where I parked
bed. Kind of an elk bed. Elk bed. Elk bed. Elk bed. Elk bed. I popped out into a little clear cut. This clear cut's kind of hidden from all the roads. There's no elk here, but this is actually a pretty good spot to hike in and sit because this clear cut's kind of out of view from the road. There's a lot of elk sign here for sure too. Some droppings right here. We tried today. Didn't see a single elk today, but that's part of the uh, pros and cons of uh, still hunting in the timber. You don't have a lot of visibility, so chances of you seeing elk are slightly lower. But at this point, I don't want to just see elk. I want to see the one legal bull that is meant to be mine. So um, it's getting dark, so I'm going to head back to camp and try again tomorrow. I lied. I thought we weren't gonna see elk today. And there you have it. Just driving back to elk camp and guess what was like 800 yards above elk camp? The elk. That was like a herd of like eight cows and a little spike. Man, you go hunting so far away from elk camp and the elk are just above elk camp. How funny is that? Last full day to hunt, back into the timber.
That's my first time seeing a grouse in Oregon. I was coming up this way and there's a little runoff creek right here and I think it was taking a drink and as I was coming off I spooked it and it flew up in the tree. All right well it's pretty windy but it's getting late. The elk should start moving in the next two hours because in the next two hours is when the sun dips and we don't have any more light so it's kind of windy right here but I've noticed that there's a travel corridor right in front of me that the elk like to use to cross from this side of the mountain over to this side of the mountain so I decided to just come and sit right here and see if I can ambush a bull but I don't know this is kind of just a Hail Mary so we're just gonna sit here for the next two hours until we run out of light and then just head back down to camp so this is it down to the wire All right, folks, well, it's the final morning. This is basically our pack up day and leave. Some of the guys went out this morning and saw a lot of elk, just not the right one. So everybody's back at camp, just cleaning up. And then once we're done packing up, we're just headed out. Lots of elk on this trip as usual, just could not make it happen. Could not find the one bull that was meant for us. So that's gonna do it for Oregon 2021, but we're not done yet. Hopefully next year, I'll have time to come back down here and make a vengeance trip. But till then, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll continue our Oregon adventures next year.